So folks, this is what I'm talking about. Brenna Bird, who's the Attorney General of Iowa, took it upon herself to go out to New York to the hush money trial just to say that she thought the whole thing was a scam, folks. Have a listen to this. This, this is her former professor at Drake University in Iowa. And you just can't make this stuff up, folks. This, this is what he thought about her whole charade and theatrics at the hush money trial. Have a listen to this. Not a surprise. What should people make of this appearance? I found it quite irregular. Drake political science professor Dennis Goldford has known Attorney General Brenna Byrd since she was his student. I'm Iowa Attorney General Brenna Byrd, and I came all the way from Iowa to show our strong support that we have for President Trump. Byrd appeared outside Trump's criminal trial Monday. My background is as a prosecutor, and what I saw in that courtroom today is a travesty. Goldford says her appearance is irregular because she clearly said she was Iowa's Attorney General and she was showing our support for Trump. Goldberg questions if she is representing Iowa or helping her political future. If you have political ambitions in the Republican Party, at least through the end of this week, when things can always change, uh, you've got to be on the good side of those Trump supporters. Goldberg says Byrd's support is another sign of the ever-changing Republican Party. I can say it didn't really surprise me because we've just had a, a tremendous reshuffling of acceptable political so he's talking about the ever-changing face of the Republican Party. And folks, I've been hammering this, this theme consistently, that people like Brenna Byrd are constantly, consistently putting party over country. And, you know, you can talk about Trump and say, you know, this is a cult, this is, you know, all of this. But Trump gets weaker. If he doesn't, if he doesn't gain the presidency, and I'll be honest, I hope he doesn't, it's no secret. If he doesn't gain the presidency, he will get weaker and weaker with every passing year. But stuff like this, folks, where Republicans have learned, it, it's like they're, they're dogs that have been trained, right, by Donald Trump. Um, this will continue. This, this whole thing about Trump may wane, but this will continue. This whole thing about putting party over country is one of the most uh, insidious forms of, of cancer, I think, that this democracy uh, has ever seen, folks. And it, it will supersede Donald Trump. It'll, it'll continue on if we don't recognize it for what it is and, and put it out where we can. And, you know, folks, like, like it's been said before, and, I, and I'm going to take what Donald Trump said, you know, if, if you don't fight back on stuff like this, you're not going to have a country anymore. Well, that is the absolute reality with what I'm seeing here. If you allow these people to consistently put party over country and you don't fight back against it, you're not going to have a country left anymore. There won't, there won't be uh, an America as we know it. It will slowly change and slowly devolve because of people like Brenna Bird and all of the other sycophants and supplicants that go along with Donald Trump, folks. Um, and, you know, to say that this whole trial, coming from someone like Brenna Bird, who's an attorney, an attorney general at that, and to say that his case has no merit, the complaint of the case is valid, that's why he's in court. If you have a complaint against Donald or Joe Biden, you, you can bring that into the court of law. If you have a complaint, you can bring it. That's what they did with Donald Trump. They brought this complaint to the court of law, and it's being heard by the judicial system of our great country. Now, like I said, if you've got a complaint against Joe Biden, anyone is free to bring that complaint into court. But they don't because they don't have anything that would stand up. So Donald Trump is where he is because the complaint has merit. And to say that it's a sham, folks... To say that it's a sham and coming from an attorney general like Brenna Byrd, folks, it's, it's an embarrassment for Iowa. It's, it's an embarrassment for Iowa and it's a nasty trend that we're seeing in this country, folks. And like I said, we've, we've got to recognize it. We've got to put an end to this party over country stuff because if we don't, we're just not going to have a country much longer.